The Korea saw its one to U.S. dollar exchange rate fluctuate by the biggest margin in one and a half years during the April to June period. Experts speculate the trend is likely to continue in the months to come, so should we be worried? Our Yu Lian explains. The uncertainty surrounding the U.S. Fed's quantitative easing program and Japan's move to abenomics caused Korea's one to U.S. dollar exchange rate to fluctuate widely in the first half of the year. But are these fluctuations a cause for concern? The exchange rate as it stands right now is not a big threat to the nation's domestic economy. It will continue to fluctuate in the latter half of the year as it did in the first half, but will not fluctuate by too large a margin. That, he says, is because there are other variables at play. A high current account surplus expected by the nation's central bank would normally lead to an appreciation of the Korean won on the back of increased investor confidence. But China's slow growth recovery and the U.S. Fed's possible tapering off of its QE program could, in reverse, prompt investors to pull their money out of emerging markets, which would depreciate the Korean won. Fluctuations in the nation's exchange rate are proving to be less of a concern now than they were back when the country was hit in 2011 by the eurozone debt crisis. The once exchange rate against the U.S. dollar moved by a daily average of 0.64 percent in the last quarter of 2011, compared to 0.43 percent in the second quarter this year. That was smaller than many other developed countries, including Japan, Australia and Britain. Korea has seen its trade surplus increase and is better off in terms of foreign exchange holding. That, Puck says, is serving as a buffer against exchange rate volatility. Yudian, Arirang News.